you know, this, the reason I call this Turkey Orloff is because it's, it's a distant cousin of the famous Veal Orloff, which was invented, oh heavens, way back in about the 18, in the 1800s. And for the Prince of Orloff, who was a Russian who lived in Paris and was quite a bon vivant, and he loved food so much that chefs liked to name dishes after him. And in the original, it was a saddle of veal, which would cost you, I hate to think of how much nowadays. And then it had a rich cream sauce, in it, which was mixed with all the mushrooms and onions. And then you roasted it and sliced it, and then arranged the slices like this back onto the bone, and then covered it with a rich Mornay sauce and gratinate it, and I guess it probably had truffles and things in it, too. But I th it, it works out very nicely with turkey breast, because the turkey does need something to, to give it more interest. And this is just the ticket, and then it's going to have a velouté sauce on it. And a velouté, as you remember, we've done so many of them, is just like a white sauce, except it's made with chicken or turkey stock. And then I've enriched this sauce that I have with, with cottage cheese and egg yolks. And what I did for a quart of sauce I put in had a about 3 quarters of a cup of low-fat cottage cheese and two egg yolks, and then I just mix them up either in a blender or a food processor, in this case, in this food processor, not even washing it out. And that will give the, that'll puff up just very lightly. And then it's not too rich. So what is nice about this dish, it just, it's not, it's neither too expensive nor too rich, which is just fine. So here's just one platter of the three that I'm going to make. But I think the fact that you can do it so much ahead is just marvelous. Just want to make sure I've got it mostly over there. And then it's going to have a little bit of cheese on the top. And you could use Swiss cheese, but I'm going to use grated mozzarella. Again, which I got packaged in my market. And again, it's low fat. And just sprinkle that all over it. And then remember that this can be all done by Saturday and covered up and refrigerated. And then it's ready to go now with the cheese coating on it, ready to go either in the refrigerator or if it's Sunday just before dinner, just before the oyster course, in it goes into the oven. And this. In this case, I'm going to cook it right now, and it goes into the upper third of a preheated 400 degree or 200 centigrade oven. And it'll just take about half an hour until it's bubbling until the top is brown. Don't overcook it. You can keep it for about half an hour or so, but it, it's really, as soon as it's cooked, within about 10 or 20 minutes, it's good to eat it. But it only takes half an hour to heat up. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? And then on to the buffet for 19. This, of course, you can cook a bit ahead and let sit in the warming oven or on a hot tray. But you certainly don't want to overcook it, because it's just delicious the way it is. Now I'm going to serve it for you. And one of the nice things about this for a buffet is that guests can serve themselves easily. You don't have any difficult carving to do. Look at that lovely, nice brown, delicious mixture. And then here's your cold vegetable salad of blanched cauliflower and string beans and carrots and radishes, all covered with a, an oil and lemon sauce, a very light one, so as not to kill the red Bordeaux wine that you'll serve with it. And then when that's all eaten up, you have your dessert of Dorobot vanilla ice cream served in big, beautiful goblets. And the extra fillip on this is that you pour in a little dark rum or bourbon whiskey just to 
flavor it up. And then a little sprinkling of ground instant coffee. And that makes a very nice and unusual dessert and a perfect buffet for 19. So that's all for today. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. No need to be a gourmet chef to create scrumptious meals. It's easy and fun with comedian Sean Dunallen on How to Boil Water, weekdays at 4 Eastern. Now, stay tuned for Cooking Live, next on Food Network.